billionaire. He joins us now with more on the details. Okay, so you have to explain this to us because you yourself are a self-made billionaire, correct? If I'm counting your money. I started with absolutely nothing and um, you know, I grew up in outside of Baltimore and had um, struggled, you know, failed fourth grade, um, fathered a child at 14 in the eighth grade, was dyslexic, you know, so didn't get off to a great start. But yeah, I did um, realize later that uh, adversity uh, was a wonderful teacher for me. Mm. And so I put that into business and uh, it was really about problem solving. And luckily I did pretty you know, pretty good, okay in business, and yeah, you did, right? off I went. Yeah, so. I mean, you know, I'm sure at the okay uh, high school yourself. reunion, you had a little bit to brag about. Uh, okay, so can you go in with a business idea, or do you have to start from scratch? How does, how does this work? This well, challenge? yeah, I just literally, you know, I I'd said, listen, I think that the American dream is alive, and I'll prove it. I'll go somewhere where I'd never been and start with $100 and, and really just go off and not use my contacts or my name or my money. And so, you know, just going out there and, and, and looking at what the community needed and then saying, okay, let's see if we can work it out. Uh, and going down a road, by the way, didn't always work out the way I wanted it. Mm -hmm. It failed a few times, but I only had 90 days to get it going. Mm. So uh, worked out a little better than I thought as it kept going, but you know. So are you hoping that, that when people watch this on Discovery Channel that they'll be able to, you know, imagine their own, themselves in this position and figure out they've got this great idea. I think I can put it into motion. I just need to do it. Right. Well, I mean, that's the idea. You know, I mean, I had a brief run in with cancer and, you know, I came out of that going, holy cow. I mean, just luckily got through it, but said, you know, I'm older. I get more conservative. I'm afraid to take chances. And why? You know, I felt more alive when I was swinging for the fences when I was going for it. Mm. And so what I hope people at home will realize is that they don't want to get, you know, get on those last few breaths and have regrets. Why not take chances, no matter how old we are, you know, no matter where in a position we are. Maybe you're not going to go off and try to create a million dollar business. Maybe you just want a job promotion. Maybe you want to do something, you may move. Maybe you want to do something that your, your fear kind of locks you in, right? And so instead of fear, why don't we look at it as excitement? Why don't we look at it as a lesson and, and learn and grow? So that's kind of what this was about for me. Uh, more than just trying to build a business, it was about taking a chance. Because in my case, it was about a 30-year uh, chance on my reputation, right? I could look yeah. like a crazy man in front of 100 million people. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It is. A, I mean, I, you are a billionaire, but this is a risk, right? Your <laughs> reputation's true. at risk. And you're like, oh, look at this dummy. He couldn't do it twice. <laughs> he only did it once. He got lucky. <laughs> he got lucky. Uh, that is fascinating. That's I'm excited right. to watch this. I really am. Uh, was it difficult? Because, uh, like, you're used to a bit of luxury now. You know, it, it, you know, you got a good life. You got a helicopter. You got a boat. You got all this stuff. Was it was it difficult to be away from that stuff after a while, or did you kind of enjoy that too? Yeah, no, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed every bit of it. I mean, you know, what I found, the most interesting part, I mean, I don't mind sleeping on the floor. I don't mind eating, you know, whatever. It doesn't make a difference to me about those things. When you have a goal and you realize you'll do what it takes, I found so many people that say, well, I'm above that. I don't think anybody's above anything, you know, and I don't think any person is above any person. So that that's never entered in my brain. I think that we all need to realize that, you know, we are – we all put our pants on the same way and, mm -hmm. and that, you know, so it doesn't matter what kind of food or what kind of, you know, I, I've never looked at myself as someone that needed something more than somebody else. So I never had an issue uh, stepping backwards and in, in, in going through that. I, probably my best times of my life were when I, you know, slept on the floor. It was after college and wow. with a bunch yeah. of yeah. friends, you know. I, That's I perspective. Need a, yeah. Flush bed. Right. Well, Glenn, thank you so much for your time this morning. I can't wait to see what uh, Glenn Stearns does with $100 in his pocket. <laughs> Starts uh, next Tuesday <laughs> on Discovery Channel. It's Undercover Billionaire. Huh. I'm clearing out some room I, in the DVR. I I'm say, watching I'm this. this I, I'm concept. really into this. All right. Thank you very much for joining us. 10 right p.m. All righty. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Glenn.